Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at the time shifting property of the Z transform. So we are going to look at the we are going to look at the time shifting property. Time shifting property of Z transform. So the theorem can be stated as follows. The pro if x of n has a z transform x of z then a shifted version of the signal that is x of n minus k will have a z transform given by z power minus k multiplied by x of z. So there will be a factor z power minus k multiplied to the original z transform. And next the ROC that is the ROC of the corresponding Z transform that is Z power minus K X of Z. The ROC will be ROC of Z power minus K X of Z will be similar to ROC of X of Z except for Z equal to 0 for k greater than 0 and z equal to infinity for k less than 0 because for positive case z power minus k will be like a uh, z power minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 and so on so z equal to 0 cannot be included in the ROC and for negative case uh, this power of z becomes positive that means z power 1 2 3 and so on in that case z equal to infinity cannot be included so the ROC will be similar to that of x of z but these two have to be considered that is z equal to 0 and z equal to infinity have to be considered have to be excluded based on the sign of the value k now let us look at the proof for this property so we have to find z transform of x of n minus k which is by definition summation n equal to minus infinity to plus infinity x of n minus k z power minus n now we rewrite n minus k as m so n becomes m plus k and the limits are simply again same minus infinity to plus infinity x of m and then n becomes m plus k so z power minus of m plus k now we can rewrite this sum as z power minus k that is we bring the we bring z power minus k outside the summation and then the rest of the sum is m equal to minus infinity to plus infinity that is summation m equal to minus infinity to plus infinity x of m multiplied by z power minus m so if you look at this summation it is basically the definition of z transform therefore we have z power minus k x of z thus we have proved that the z transform of a shifted version of the signal it is x of n minus k is z power minus k multiplied by x of z now let us look at an example uh, illustrating application of this property that is consider a signal x of n which has the following sequence 1 2 5 7 0 1 7 0 1 and the value at n equal to 0 is 5 that is 5 is the n equal to 0 value now uh, 2 is at n equal to minus 1 and 1 is at n equal to minus 2 therefore by definition x of z will be 1 into z power 2 so z square 2 into z power 1 so 2z and 5 into z power 0 so 5 plus 7 into z power minus 1 and 0 plus 0 plus 1 into z power minus 3 so this is the z transform x of z for the given signal now consider a signal x2 of n which is basically a shifted version of x of n that is x of n minus 2 that means x2 of n will be equal to a delayed version of the original signal that means we have 0 0 1 2 5 7 0 1 so by using the shifting property the z transform of x2 of n will be equal to z power minus 2 multiplied by x of z so by using the result of x of z we can easily write this one as 1 plus 2 z inverse plus 5 z power minus 2 plus 7 z power minus 3 and 
z power minus 5 so this is the new z transform now when uh, now consider a case where a k is uh, negative that is x3 of n is equal to x of n plus 2 in that case x3 of n will be equal to 1 2 5 7 0 1 0 and so on and now the uh, n equal to 0 is located here so in this case x3 of n the z transform of x3 of n that is x3 of z is given by z square into x of z because k is equal to k is equal to minus 2 so we have z square so uh, by multiplying this z square to the original result we can clearly see that it will be equal to z power 4 plus 2 z cube plus 5 z square plus 7 z and finally z power minus 1 we can easily verify these results by looking at the uh, corresponding uh, sequences that is for example here uh, the pointer is here that is 0 is here so 1 is z 1 into z power 0 and 2 into z power minus 1 5 into z power minus 2 7 into z power minus 3 and 1 into z power minus 5 so that is clearly valid and now in this case 1 is at n equal to minus 4 so that's why we have z power 4 plus 2 times z power 3 plus 5 times z square plus 7 times z plus z inverse so note that uh, the rocs of the this corresponding signals uh, can also be determined in this case the roc is the whole z plane excluding so the roc is the whole z plane excluding z equal to 0 and z equal to infinity now for x2 of z the roc will be whole z plane and uh, excluding z equal to 0 because there are only negative powers of z so z equal to 0 has to be excluded otherwise uh, the roc will be z plane that means the roc will be the whole z plane excluding z equal to 0 now here again in x3 of z we have both positive powers and negative powers so roc will be whole z plane excluding both the origin and infinity excluding z equal to 0 and z equal to infinity so similar to the first one so to summarize we have looked at the z transform for a shifted signal that is x of n minus k has a z transform z power minus k x of z and the proof is straightforward and it is uh, and directly follows from the definition of the z transform and for uh, uh, and we also looked at some examples uh, using this shifting property that means for example if you sh uh, delay the signal by two points then the corresponding z transform will be uh, multiplied by z power minus 2 and similarly if we advance by say two points then the corresponding z transform gets multiplied with z power 2 and there are also corresponding changes in the roc depending on the powers of the z thanks for watching